Hello, my name is Liz Coulthard. I'm a neurologist and I specialise in dementia and Huntington's disease. We run a clinical service here in the Bristol Brain Centre in Southmead Hospital. I see patients with dementia, the commonest type being Alzheimer's, but also with all different types of other dementias, including very rare types. And I also run a Huntington's disease clinic. One of the critical things about our service is that we place research at the heart of the service. So when we see a patient, we always think, what is best for this patient clinically? What can I do for them? But one of the other things that we think is, what opportunities are there for this patient to take part in research if they want to? So some of the research we do aims to find a treatment that will slow the progression of dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease. Some of this, these trials are international trials, and some of them are run by commercial companies. Other trials are academic, and because I work for the university, we are leading a trial called the RADAR trial, where we're giving a drug to people to see if we can slow the progression of Alzheimer's, and there are around 20 sites around the UK who are taking part in this trial. Some of the other research that we do, do aims to understand a bit more about how dementia affects the brain. One of the aims of this is to try and see if we can diagnose dementia a bit earlier than it's currently diagnosed, because we think maybe we'll have to treat dementia earlier in the course of the illness to have a beneficial impact on people. So at the moment, not only do we recruit people who have dementia, we also recruit people who are diagnosed with a pre-dementia state, mild cognitive impairment. We know that some people with mild cognitive impairment will develop Alzheimer's disease, but some won't. And one of the aims of our research is to identify people at this early stage who might be those that are destined to go on to get dementia so that we can offer them treatments. We recruit people with dementia, but also we recruit healthy older people who may in the future develop dementia. And it's really important that we have these recruits because these are the people where we may actually be able to alter things more. So we're very keen for people to take part in our research and it might involve a brain scan such as an MRI, or it might involve some memory tests, um, or it might involve sometimes things like EEG, so brainwave recording, but we always talk people through, they know exactly what to expect, and then they let us know whether or not they want to take part.